Business Ethics Examination Next, we are going to analyze the business ethics in a famous multinational corporation. We will start with a short description of the company. Next, we will present the study variables to analyze. Then, we will diagnose and classify both the firm and the franchise. And finally, we will propose some improvement suggestions. The company belongs to the hospitality industry. It is specialized in fast food and it is split in franchises. It is well established worldwide and it generates great benefits. Previously, the fame attached to it is deficient because the public has a negative perception about fast food. However, the company has the Q mark for tourist quality, one of the most important hallmarks of the Spanish tourism sector. The topics that we are going to analyze are product quality and labor relationships and business climate. To preserve the queue of tourism quality, the firm must pass strict controls and regular audits. These audits examine, among other aspects, product quality, the good performance of the production processes, the work environment and the treatment of workers. Therefore, we could say that the company has good business ethics, and that is the reason why it has successfully passed the audits. The quality standards are established by the company, but due to the crisis, some of their products have been replaced by others of somewhat lower quality. This fact leads to a slight loss of quality. In the specific case of the analyzed franchise, They decreased the salaries of their workers and eliminated familiarization parties, incentive that was previously used to secure a good business climate. The result is the beginning of the motivation in some workers of this franchise. According to the diagnosis, the classification would be, on one hand, regarding the level of ethics, we have the following stages. Lack of ethics, when it does not host to ethical standards. Ethical compliance, when it sticks to legal regulations and meet human and civil rights. Ethical sensitivity, when it performs a management sensitized with ethical good and human values. And ethical excellence, when it acts virtuously with human excellence, looking for continuous improvement and contributing to the common good. On the other hand, Regarding the level of social responsibility, we have the following stages. Responsibility as social obligation, when it meets a minimum of responsibility that society sets. Responsibility as social reaction, when the company decides to act based on the social situation. Responsibility as social sensitivity, when the social responsibility comes from the will of the company to improve its image and responsibility as social performance when the social responsibility, besides coming from the company's will, aims to perform various pro-social actions, which also involves the local community. So, we could say that both the company and the franchise would stand at the responsibility as social performance level, because they own a social foundation and besides of allocating part of its profits to it, they perform various social actions. Then, regarding the ethics levels, the company would stand at the ethical sensitivity level, because although being an ethically healthy enterprise, it does not reach excellence. And the franchise would stand at the ethical compliance level, since it is the only franchise that has reduced the wages of its workers and removed incentives. We believe that the changes the company needs are minimal, Specifically, they should restore the products that had changed and take a greater control over some of their franchises. And about the franchise that we analyzed, the changes to be made should be respect the previous amount of wages and restore the incentives used before the crisis, so they can improve labor climate and have their workers more motivated. Thereby, the company would reach a higher degree of business ethics even better than the one that it already has.
Thank you.